Not no. Actually, PVE. Let's do one invasion. I'm testing the tame input. Trying to remind myself many many different like techniques that I have been utilizing a long time ago. But majority of them is let's call it forgotten. Well, that is what it is. Here you are, gamer. Welcome. Cosma, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> I I cannot understand shit besides Privet. Actually, the, the first one... Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. The guy was somewhere here, isn't it? Oh. 
Hello. Ah. Oh. You went on the top. Uh, <laughs> Damn that crazy Let's go One more invasion, we're gonna do some PvE. Just to finish this build. And I think like we're just gonna start invasions on uh, build with more variety. And just like you know let's say that we participated in the Return to Drang Lake event and slowly it's time to end the journey of this build. Not sure if I'm not gonna delete this build. <laughs> it is very bad. Pyromancy Flame plus 7, by the way. I just would need to spend a lot of time in PvE to actually make a decent build. I like, fundamentally, this build is bad though. So, actually, it's. Let's cut it that way. Like, I would have to spend a lot of time to completely finish the build. And just that fundamentally. The build is so bad that it's never going to be competitive in any way, shape or form. As it is based on like essentially non-meta. Havel. That's interesting name. Okay, we know where he is. As the nickname popped. I mean, it would be nice to perhaps maybe like uh, keep on playing on this build until like a. Uh, Rank 2 in the Blue Covenant. Hello. Hello. Actually, legitimate Havel. Actually, hit early. You 
can get a new one. Yes, uh, I have tried and uh, I managed to have solid one summon. Pokchamp, isn't it? Which is soul memory? It was million. You are 40k? Too low. Apparently. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Get fucked! But yeah, please. Uh, I think like the the blue sentinels, the covenant working the way that it actually helps lower soul memory tiers. I won't let like uh, cut cut off my hand for, for for the statement, but if I recall correctly, it is something like that. I mean, right now we're gonna do some PvE, I'm gonna equip the ring and gonna see if we're gonna help anyone. Currently at 2 million 300 soul memory. Another Havel Gator. I'm sorry, gamer. I'm so sorry. Well, let's do some PvE. And we're gonna see now. Maybe you're gonna get to help someone. So there is like a there is a possibility to jump from there to I'm not exactly sure where. Like here, uh, yeah. or lower, but like I genuinely speaking don't remember. And because I don't remember, we are just not going to do that. Lower one is easier, I see. Grandlands, look at that. Bonfire aesthetic below, so whatever.
Why do you hit the chest? This chest was nasty. They deserted. Oh. Nice smoke grenade I've had here. York Spear better than regular lands. Competitively? No. But it has its benefits. GG? Was that you? Fatal? Not me this time, I see gamer. Oh well. But yeah, so York Spear has like insanely good range and it's pretty good at the high latency plays. Because of possibility, let me actually take the lance. Because of this move, essentially. You can like roll back, do 180, and hit an opponent within like very long range. Which is like insanely good uh, when when you are playing on the high latency between you and your enemy. When your adversary is like on circa about 200 or maybe more MS. That one is actually pretty good. That being said, York Spear is very heavy. And if you want to make the optimized build on so level 150, then yeah. It's just not that good that being said uh york because of the stats is just simply not competitively viable so just use it on the over leveled build for the invasions or something and you should be fine i think in in that manner like it might be quite viable we're gonna use the york spear today as we are going to play on the 220 so level build well build quote unquote just party gamer good party Oh, good. Nice. Good party. Hmm. <laughs> I've been in outplayed by Forlod. Kurma. Good morning, Craig or some say Craig. Okay, it's not instant. Right. You can't fit? I mean, it's kind of uh, forced, isn't it, though? You are still sacrificing a lot. L for long. It's L me, the guy actually wrecked me. What you mean? Also, Krag or some say Craig, welcome to the stream. But yeah, like, Jörg is just too heavy, isn't it? That's the biggest issue. 
Memory of Oroboro, fuck champ. Biggest issue with Yorks is elemental defense debuff. Wait, what? It applies elemental defense debuff on yourself? Holy shit, why? <laughs> but, but why? What's the reason behind it? What author had on mind? That is from software. Ah, ah, nice. Okay, I see. So that's what what the balance idea was like. Decreases elemental defenses, increase bleed and, and poison. Well, fantastic. Fox champ. Totally worth it. Uh -uh. Hello? Ah, okay. I see. <laughs> Hello. Holy shit. That's fast. Trade off seems not worth it. You think? I mean, if someone is going to use Plum Burger, then perhaps it is worth it. Alright, how many of these do we need? Five? Yeah, we do have five. <sighs> Always use that bleed infused flaming burger. Well, the best, the best build. But what about it? Flamburger plus 10 infused with poison. 600 fucking air. Isn't it Pokchamp? Whatever you do, don't take poison mage versus Sherman in the NA2022 Elden Reader. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Sherman, for example, like with this, his York Spear, if not for like a fantastic uh, 250 MS that we have to each other, I would just like a bonk the guy with, uh, with Dagger or like Royal Dirk. And that would be about it. Just because, like, you know, of the heaviness of the York, you, you kind of have to sacrifice poise. Unless, like, you sacrifice damage, yeah. I'm not sure if that's... If that's the okay, yeah. That's probably a good strat. I mean, I was doing that yesterday, I just, like... Like, with... Like... With Sherba, like, when I am dwelling him, I'm kind of just, you know... Let's say that I am kind of chilling. In the meaning that, like, I'm not trying to optimize against him, because, like, Jorg is not meta anyway, yeah? 
Bye. <laughs> the dark souls to pvp community is always balding i mean deep inside i am balding because i'm playing on 250 ms like but i am balding with essentially when at the evening i am playing against like you know other like uh, good players within dark souls 2 community i am Deep inside, I am molding all the time because it is nothing but the fucking guess game. I am playing against good players like, for example, Noob, Krag, or like Sherman, or like recently against uh, Chris, for an example. We are just fucking dueling, and holy shit, these duels are so bad. Like, dueling against Alofas or Vander, for that matter, like, is just better only because of the pink difference, yeah? It's fun to play against the guys, but it's just the game is shit. It's just like, you know, the game doesn't have that much, let's call it comp players from Europe. And, well, it's just such, what can I say? It's like, for example, like, like it is, it is sad to see. For example, when I am dwelling Krag, she is like very often just trying to do hoity toity stuff, and I am just a brain dead retard, just clicking that R one, and I usually out trade because, like, because of the peak difference, it is really like not the best environment to. To, to make like uh, the mind games overall. High latency, like it takes away the, uh, let's call it depth of the gameplay in my opinion. I are killing the naked grandfather. He's naked though. He deserved that. Being naked in Lordran is the biggest crime. Or drunk lake for that matter. Well, let's finish the game. I guess. <clears throat> After that, we're gonna get like a ring of blades plus two. Holy fuck! Let's do it! Gacha Remix, Pokchamp! Gacha Remix Gamer! If I'm gonna use the Dread Finger, I can like summon the third guy as well. How it is? Gachi Remix. It's my favorite Remix. Let's go. Alright, let's turn up the voice chat.
Adventure in Norilisk Supplement? What? You mean the third DLC? Yo, Mordo. Welcome to Jackass. Fantastic. Oh shit, Invader! We got Invader! Look at that! Someone is connecting! Haha, <laughs> you are so fucked! Good attempt. <laughs> the party gamer, let's go. Did you that was me? Damn. Nice fatal. Good luck, crack. Have fun killing big monsters. Let's go. She got old. You have proven yourself to me. Now be one with the dog. Yes, yes, right. We even like ganked some poor guy. Feels good, man. Them Gachi Remix, be careful, gamer. Oh no, I got lasered. Natasha Le, Le Russian girl. Well, or like more like dead girl. You're so loud. Just shut up. Come, fight.
leuke gamer. Very cool. Alright. Bye gamers. Thanks a lot for participating. He says that, but there is clearly a path in front of us. Unskippable credits, Buckshamp! Tanimura, the superior Miyazaki, Buckshamp. <clears throat> or maybe you can skip them. No. Unskippable. You could potentially leave the game, but whatever. Let the OST play. After the credits, we're just gonna go for the worst boss fight against ourselves. In the coffin. become the true beauty. What's the next game? Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Why asking?
NG plus? Uh, no. We're gonna finish the build. We're gonna ascend the bonfire. I'm even not sure if you guys actually can hear me through the music, as it is very loud. NG plus 99 speedrun with the cheat engine, yes? Learn some new speed run tech. Hidetaka Miyazaki just doesn't... It's, it's not listed at all, isn't it? Or I missed something. So like the guy had like... Probably zero influence over this game. His supervisor, but he's not listed as supervisor. Or is he? He was busy making that work for Screw the Elden Ring embargo, just play it. Okay, after the credits. <laughs> Good name, Lully. <laughs> Who have seen then, 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 have seen. Who haven't, then haven't. Say the name. I forgot.
Oh my fucking god. Another peeve. But peeve has like a hatred towards extra life. All right. Now we're playing Elden Ring. Here we go. Damn, it looks exactly like Dark Souls 2. Such a coincidence. Souls too. All right, we are doing. We are doing it. Hello. A bonk and bonk. Who sells the fucking fire arrows? What are they tell? Flamburger? Maybe the this one as well? Let's buy it. Guns, be safe. You need fire arrows? Yeah, it could, it could be useful to explode the barrels, you know? What? Did I for maybe I maybe I didn't sit at the bonfire or something, or maybe I maybe I just didn't burn the aesthetic. Yeah, I just didn't burn it. I burned the human effigy instead because I am fucking autistic. Gee, that was me. God fucking damn it. You have like these distinct lines like over there on the map, you see? I kind of wonder if there's just like a it's it's like markings of the of the another area or what? Never seen that before? Now you cannot unseen it. Get fucked. The line leads you to Gwyn. I well, see. Uh, tell me. God, be safe. Hello?
Ah, oh, shit. I swear to God, the lock-on in Dark Souls 2 is easily the worst out of the whole series. Oh well. Like, easily. This streamer that was me, GG dried. Well played. GG gas, well played. There was two. Yeah. I thought it, it was both of you. Damn it. Hmm. All right. Sian goes to fucking dust. Wanted to spare the guy, but fuck him. Stop pretending this time still okay. So we serious now, yeah? No problem. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious! <laughs> Angry invaded me! <laughs> I had to die! Like, if you're gonna run away from the room, they are never, never gonna spawn again or what? Because... Or actually, maybe they will. 
I'm not sure. That maybe I maybe I just could like run aw away from the room. Until you reach the area. Ah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Then, well, my bad. I could just like run out of the room, I guess. And could be, it would be good enough. Oh well, mistake. Mis mistakes were made. What can I say? Fucking stupid lock on system! You are so fucking bad! My god! Like it don't make any sense! Just don't lock on? What? Where the guy went? Oh my fucking god! Ah! The guy, the guy attacked the wall, fuck Chan. Alright. Change of strategy, only counter attacks. Just summon some friends? No, 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 no. This, this is personal at this point. This is personal. Bitch. Oh, he dodged. Well, oh, get fucked. Easy. First try.
Okay. Eh? That was his bitch. Ah? Ah? Eh? Not so easy anymore, you can't. Ah? Eh? No? No? Not so easy anymore, eh? Not so easy, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, the build technically finished. Ah, no, 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 the last touch. We need to become a beautiful being. Your face is kind of fat. I'm cons I'm cosplaying you. That's why. It is hamster face, okay? No bully. My undead is part human, part hamster. That's why. Well. The fuck? Gashismo. 50% human, 50% hamster, 50% gashismo. Shard is here. Look at that. Like, by the way, Gash, how is, how is on the front? My dear Kazakhstan gamer. Sniped three of them. Boom headshot. Damn. Big fox champ. Okay, <laughs> the animation hits early. <laughs> I wanted to roll it through. Oh well. We have another bitch? Oh, okay. His pounds here, same.
All right, let's go. It's time to become beautiful. Full transition. Three, two, one. Hello, gamers. Hi. Hello. Me woman now. You are gay now? Fuck champ. So that was transition to gay. I see. Like. The most important part, I have boobs now. The build is complete. Gamers, welcome gamer. All right. What is this build anyways? Uh, I'm taking parts from the uh, OG Dark Souls players, essentially. The offhand rapier is from me. Although like it's supposed to be a stock, but like for, for the sake of this particular build, ability to the parry and so on, I'm, I have actually chosen the rapier. Black Dragon Greatsword is partially every top tier player of 2014. Uh, Dingy Robe is essentially uh, Bao Bao. Bow is uh, mm, Bow is uh, Saber. Uh, Warmth is me. Great Combustion is essentially like many, 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 many different top tier players of the time being. Well, top tier maybe too much to say. Good players of the time being. And uh, uh, I have also like a longsword here on the swap that I am sometimes use using. That one is for the sake of essentially all the other crazy people that were playing only longsword over and over, like Jimmy Payne. Um, Jimmy Payne, not Jimmy Payne, Jimmy. Page, here you go. Not pain. Timmy, Timmy is Timmy Pain. Jimmy is Jimmy Ph. Or Page. Or Banishor and others. I was thinking to fix Tirl uh, to fit Tirlix in here, uh, but like uh, that would require me to actually rebuild the whole build. So yeah, fuck Tirlix. Because Tyrlix was using the mage builds. Which as you can imagine is kinda problematic. But yeah. And I am like kind of like... Uh, trying to uh, adopt the uh, strategies, the new school strategies. To this build. Fuck Tyrlix. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm doing a lot of the stand swaps and stuff. So kind of, you know. I'm like, it is kind of required because this build on its own is just fucking garbage. You cannot play it like, to, like it would be 2014. Because like the combo of the, from the 2014 is this, essentially. It was guaranteed for hit combo. At the time being. Right now, like, all these moves, like, take more stamina. And on top of that... And on top of that, like, it is not a true combo anymore. And yeah, like, the attack speed uh, on the running attacks was way faster. Invasion when? Now. The thing is that... Uh, 
I could get them on a steady scimitar myself. It's just that it would take a lot of time to farm. We going arena or we doing invasions? <laughs> you remember that combo win? Yeah, I mean like it was essentially like the four hit combo on the on the Black Dragon Greatsword was essentially the best that the game could offer at the time being. Very strong. Actually, maybe I'm gonna upgrade one more thing. Let's go. Alright. Play Black Flamestone? I mean, it is only for, you know, for chasing people. <laughs> That's very interesting nickname you have in there, gamer. Hello. Nice. Interesting. Run, chicken leg, run. Hmm. Out of four coming? That's pink spike to 300. Okay, yeah. Nah, you're not gonna defeat me. I am next to the bonfire. I'm not going to uh, give you that win. You don't deserve it, you filthy invader! You broke him? Nah. The guy is broken on his own. Yeah, like invasions as a part of the game and people are like... Nah, I want it to be a single player game, but I want to co-op as well, so that's why I'm connected. Just play offline? Yeah, I mean... 
you tell them. The reality is like they are just not gonna listen. They're gonna be like, hey, I want to go up with my friends, but I don't want to be invaded. Stupid game. I'm actually not sure where to go. But yeah, it's just like, you know, the, the casual mindsets is, instead of adapting to the game, they, they want the game to adapt to them. Hello. Holy shit, deals damage when it hits. This problem is to hit. Much of Dark Souls 3 gamer with your unpun unpunishable astuces. What the fuck he does have even that man? I wonder. Should be out of them now? We're gonna see. Yeah, I'm actually like watching if the guy by by any chance doesn't have like infinite estus or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's do it for him. Let's just let him let let's let's just let him kill me. Like 
Ah, I'm gonna start pretending I am even more fucking autistic than in reality. The fuck slaughter him? No. I refuse. Bang! Come on, one more hit. Ah! Damn, I missed. Unlucky. Perhaps we just made like a incredibly good memory for the guy. I, I just drag the microphone. Cable. I hope everything is okay. -ish. All right. Ask who cares about his memory? I do. Want the gamer to have a good experience. <laughs> Reported for throwing. Uh. Good in Dark Souls 2? LOL. Damn. Someone is throwing the shade over there. Ah. Panto, Panto Gamer. His name on Steam, Panto. His name in game, Panto. Panto Gamer. Oh lol, invisible hits. Sixty no scope. Close enough. <laughs> Fuck, so close. Alright. Yo still? Yeah, Polly. You still play still I still play a poly. Alright gamers. I would say this shit is officially over. 
We have participated in Drunk Lang event for long enough at this point. We did some co oping Not much though, but still. We helped some guys as the blueberry guy. Uh, we did shit tons of the blue sentinel invasions. Punishing sinners around. We did some regular invasions. We did some rat invasions. We did some bell invasions. Uh, we have transitioned to the beautiful hamster girl. We have kind of finished the autistic build. And that's about it. GG. Maybe we're gonna do some rules on, on, on this on this build. The future 105 adaptability, yep. For now we're putting it to rest though. <sighs> like the old school is good for the sake of well, reminding yourself old good times. That being said, Old school is also like not viable nowadays and not that fun as well. So yeah, let's get back to the business.